hello guys so this is question 2.52 and the statement of this question is suppose that in a senior college class of 500 students it is found that 210 smoke 258 drink alcoholic beverages 216 eat between meals 122 smoke and drink alcoholic beverages 83 eat between meals and drink alcoholic beverages 97 smoke and eat between meals and 52 engage in all Three of these bad health practices okay if a member of this senior class is selected at random find the probability that the student okay so now we are given three case studies in which we have to find the probabilities of each of these cases but before doing or diving into the details of this let me first write the data here whatever is available with us so the first thing is the total number of students so we have the total number of students which is represented by n sub 50 so these are basically 500 so we have 500 students similarly uh, it is found that 210 smokes okay so uh, the number of students with smoke is n s and that is word that is 210 uh, 258 drink alcoholic beverages so let me represent it with n subscript d and that is 258 okay this is here and similarly 216 eat between meals and let me write it and subscript e and here this is what this is 216 okay. these are the different uh, data samples or data information which has which are given to us uh, similarly 122 smoke and drink alcoholic beverages so let me write it like 122 smoke and drink alcoholic beverages so let me write it smoke and let me write this intersection as the and operator and here and d and this is what 122 okay, so this is the data here uh, similarly 83 eat between meals and drink alcoholic beverages so n e and uh, eat alcoholic beverages drink alcoholic beverages so n of d that is what that is 83 and the last one here is what 97 smoke and eat between meals so that is smoke and eat between meals and that is what that is 97 so these are the six data points and the last one here is that 52 engage in all three of these bad health practices so nine uh, 52 of it are smoke and drink and eat between meals so that is basically 52 okay. so these are the data samples which are given to us let me represent them with this one let me separate them out and this one as well. okay so these are the given data points now what do we have to do we have to find out what the first part a is the part a of it is smokes but does not drink alcoholic beverages okay so part a is we have to find the probability that a person smoke okay but doesn't drink alcoholic beverages okay so and doesn't drink so let me represent it okay. uh, so how to find it out in order to do these type of questions let me consider another type of the diagram that is called a Venn diagram okay so let me represent here this circle which basically represent the number of persons with smoke okay and similarly that is n of d which represents the number of persons with drink okay so here in between them we have this area which basically shows me that the number of people which smoke and drink as well okay so this is the area in between them which is common okay so which area is this and which area is this let me represent them with the different colors 
so this area is the per the area in which person smoke but doesn't drink okay so this is the area and what is this area this is the area in which the person doesn't smoke but drinks okay so that is basically the overall area okay so what do i have to find out i have to find out the probability of it because that is what we have to find out and that is the area we have to calculate it okay so in order to calculate it what do i have to do i have to find out n s and n d complement okay the area or the number of people who smoke but doesn't drink okay so in order to find it out we can see here that how to find it out we can see that all of this area is basically n of s which is represented here by this n of s so this is n of s and from it i have to subtract this area okay so this is the common area in between n d and n s so i have to subtract it so therefore minus n s and and d okay so i have to subtract these areas so let me write their value so the ns is here which is given 210 okay. and do i know the value of ns and nd let me search so that is also given here so that is minus 120 okay so calculating it what i will get i will get here 88 okay so that is what this is the number of people who smoke but doesn't drink okay so in order to find the probability of it what do i have to do i have to find the number of people okay who smoke but doesn't drink divided by the total number of people so now i know all of this so that is 88 which i have calculated now and this is 500 so this is now the answer of my question which i wanted to find out okay so that is the solution of the part a of my question which i have done here okay. so in order to solve question b what do i have to do let me remove all this so removing it what i will do so now part b is we have to find out what we have to find the probability that uh, the student eats between meal okay uh, so what do i have to do i have to find out the student who eats between meals and drink alcoholic beverages and okay and is all always represented by this uh, intersection symbol and drink alcoholic beverages so this is d uh, and but doesn't smoke so okay so he doesn't smoke which is represented by this complement so we have to find out this area so in order to do so let me again use the venn diagrams in which we have here the number of students who eat in between the meals okay similarly the number of students who drink okay so this is what this is the number of students who drink and uh, here we can see that this is the area in between them which is what this is the number of students who number of students with n e and who drinks as well okay so this is the common area in between them similarly in order to find the smoking area or the students who smoke what do i have to do let me have here this as well so these are the number of students who smoke and the common area in between all of them is this one okay so which area is this so this area is the area which basically shows us the number of students who eats in between meals and number of students who drink and the number of students who smoke okay so here this one is that area okay so now in order to find the probability what do i have to do i have to find out the number of the probability or the number of uh, students who eat in between meals who drinks but doesn't smoke so by looking at all of this we can very clearly see that this is the area which portrays the number of students who eat in between meals and who drinks but who doesn't 
smoke okay so this one is the area in order to find it out what do i have to do i have to calculate this area of, or let me represent this with this red color so i should have this area which is what this overall area is which i have represented with this color which was n e and n d okay and from it i have to subtract this area which is n e n d and n s so let me write it minus n e n d n s do i know their values if i know their values i can very easily calculate it so let me find that do i know the value of any and nd so yes i know the value and that is 83 okay. so the 83 is given here do i know the value of ne nd and ns uh, yes it is also already given here and that is 52 okay. so subtracting them what i will get i will get here 31 okay so the number of the students which are here are basically this so this is 31 which is represented by this yellow color so now in order to find the probability of it i have to find out the number of e and number of d and number of s complement divided by the total number of uh, students so let me write their values here so writing their values let me write them here i have calculated this is 31 and divided by the total number of elements which are 500 so this is what this is the solution of part b which is asked here okay so that is the solution which i have told you that how to calculate it so in part c we have to find the student who neither smokes nor eats between meal okay so this is part c and we have to find the students who neither eat neither smokes in between meals so before doing it we have to find the students who either smokes or eats or smoke and eat both of them okay so uh, for it i have to find so let me first say that i have to find out the probability of students who neither smokes or neither eat in between meals so before it i have to find out the probability of s union e because this union is what it basically shows me that either it was present or it was present or both of them were present in the event set okay so therefore this is what we have okay so now in order to find it out what i have to do i have to find out the probability of s plus probability of e Okay, so after it minus probability of s intersection why s intersection e so let me show you with this diagram so if i have this e or s and the other one is here with this one okay so the first was this one which composer of all the areas now i have included this e as well which is now when added with it i can see that this area let me represent it with this this area which is the common area has been uh, included in it twice okay so now in order to find the union of it what i have to do i have to subtract from it this area once because it has already been included so therefore i have to subtract this area from it as well okay so now let me write the values of them so what are their values so let me put them here so p of s what is this this is let me first remove it so this is what p of s is n of s divided by n of t plus p of e is n of e divided by n of t minus p of s intersection e is n of s and n of e divided by n of t Okay. so now let me write their value so n of s is how much that is 210 divided by the 500 plus n of e is how much that is 216 divided by 500 so do i know the value of n s and n e so that is already given here n s and n e and that is 97 divided by 500 Okay. so once i will calculate it i will get what if you will add them together find the lcms 
what you will get you will get here 329 divided by the 5 okay, so that is what that is that is here we have so this one is here and this is 329 divided by 5 so now in order to find the value of the person who neither smoke neither eat in between meals what i have to do i have to find here the probability of student who neither smoke neither eats in between meals so what i what do i have to do in order to find it out we have to find it by subtracting this probability of s and e okay so now writing it 1 minus 329 divided by 500 here okay what i will get at the end finding it out what i will get here i will get here 171 divided by 500 okay so that is what that is the solution of part c which we wanted to find out okay so um, i hope you have understood the underlying concepts of the questions like this one and i hope you have understood the steps which i have taken in this question so i will see you with the similar type of questions in our upcoming video see you soon